I think the conference has been a revelation, a process of revelation. Conference has been beyond anything that I imagined it would be. So we're about halfway through the conference, and I feel like it's like riding uh, on speed. I've learned so much. I mean, I went to a graduating journalism, and you know, you just don't get this in a four-year degree. So, you know, day one, you come in, and everybody's kind of nervous, and, and we're kind of going around and introducing ourselves, and, and, and Angie had us describe the moment when we first knew that we weren't a writer. And everybody kind of just looked at her going, what? And then we all remember those moments where, holy crap, even, even everybody who's been writing their entire lives remembers that moment where you knew that that wasn't your calling in life. And then we go to work to disappear those barriers that come up. And the creative process is so um, disabling at times because you feel like you have to perform or you feel like you have to make it this way or that way. And writing especially puts you in a vulnerable space because it's your soul out on the page. I would say you showed up in our writing conference and didn't know us and still knew that we had a place here and were able to provide for the various levels that you're dealing with at a comprehensive, whether they're beginning writers or advanced writers, and able to address the needs of a lot of different levels. So appreciate that. Yeah, that's, that's something I really liked. It's that it didn't matter which level you were at um, because everyone's on a different plane. and. I feel like even though I think I know writing pretty well, I still picked up a lot. Even though I, yeah, it was great. It's not our first conference. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> so we have some basis of comparison. So I guess coming to this, I had no idea. I knew I wanted to write, but I had I had no direction. I knew what I wanted to write, but scattered in a million pieces. How do you gather that up? And just in a day and a half, you, you've prepared me to write a pitch. The panel, I feel like, helped me to gather pieces and now start forming a, a plan. I feel very confident in that. And I just gave my pitch to a publisher and she wants my manuscript. <laughs> so I love it. You're awesome. Your food is amazing. I want the recipes. And I feel like I've received so much in these last three days that I've done in years. So I recommend it to anyone. Oh, amazing. Um, so I first met Angie at a writer's conference put on by David Farland and I was impressed right away in just two hours we pitched to her and she just had this ear for picking out what was great and what wasn't working and how to but how to make it better which is not something that you always hear and so I of course then had to come to your conference <laughs> and um, so in just a day and a half, I feel like I had a okay pitch that I turned into a great pitch that uh, went really well with the managing editor. I don't know. I just felt like a, a spirit here. Um, and Angie is amazing. I just, I can't, you know, I can't believe that she does this. She's just amazing. I'm glad I met you randomly on Facebook. Mm -hmm. <laughs>